Sick ass strike, huh? Yes. You witnessed it with your own eyes. I am a bowler. For those that don't know, bowling is honestly my all time favorite sport to play. I mean, anything bowling related, it is right up my alley. Whenever I am not on the lanes, I would either enjoy bowling video games or watching professional bowlers on national TV or on YouTube, such as Jason Belmonte, the house bowling man himself, Packy Hanrahan, and even retired professional bowler Pete Weber. Who do you think you are? I am! My highest score to this day is a 280, which I achieved that high score when I was a senior in high school, the day before the annual regionals tournament but I am hoping to shoot for a 300 one day. And my highest series in three games total is a 727, which is my very first 700 game, which I achieved that highest series on the 5th of October of 2024. So just recently, while this video was being edited. For those that don't know, Regionals is a qualifier round to head to the state championship. I was a member of the Manhattan High School Indians bowling team in Manhattan, Kansas, where I have achieved multiple feats when I was a senior in high school, winning only one first place finish and qualifying to the state championship one time. Fun fact, the only first place finish ended up on the January 30th, 2018 newspaper I'll provide a link in the description so you can read the whole article. You see, a few months ago from the opening video, I went down to the bowling alley and after my first throw, I was like, huh, what if I take my all-time favorite video game Mario Kart with my all-time favorite sport and combine them together? I got this inspiration from Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games with curling bowling and from Mario Kart Tour with the Goomba Knockdown minigame. Even Lakitu said in the opening cutscene, bowl over Goombas. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell because I'm actually really close to hitting 1400 subscribers and if this video does well, I may do another mode concept in the future. But now let me bring you a concept of Mario Kart Bowling. The way I would design Mario Kart Bowling is almost similar to Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games DS with curling bowling, where each frame will be different in terms of where the power up and points multiplayer is located, plus how many pins are on the lanes. However, unlike Mario and Sonic where it is 5 frames of point boosters, the frames will still be your standard 10 frames, 2 attempts per frame, and a perfect game being a 300 and gutter balls will also be taken into effect. So, basically, there will be no point multipliers or a given setup for each frame. I thought of ways of how each frame will be different without messing the order, how the pins are set up, and your driver and car combo being the bowling ball. And the best way I can think of is the lanes themselves. I thought of ways like anti-gravity where you don't know where the pins might be, so you must find the right lines and angles to try to hit all the pins. And underwater driving might be a challenge as well, such as Piranha Plant Co where you're hitting underwater and you experience a very steep decline. Another way that I had comes from lanes that were found in the GameCube slash PlayStation game Crash Tag Team Racing. This game has a story mode where there are two areas where there are bowling centers, Vaughn Clutch Lanes and Astro Lanes. Each lane has different setups every two frames where there are bumps which are good for tricking which can increase your speed which can make your lines and angles a little bit harder, deep pits, adding in bumpers like the ones on Waluigi Pinball, and even adding in off-road on the lanes can make things harder with Mario Kart Bowling. So that means items can also be on the lanes as well. Another idea with lane changing comes from the underrated Nintendo Switch Sports. One of the modes in Nintendo Switch Sports Bowling Mode incorporates different obstacles so you have no choice but to use different lines and angles to knock down the pins. They can arrange from different barriers, 
to moving platforms, to even pistons shooting out from the lanes. So they too can be good for difficulty in Mario Kart Bowling. And speaking of lanes, what lanes will you be Mario Kart Bowling on? I thought of lanes like Rainbow Road where there are little to no barriers making it tough, lanes where you're on the walls where the camera is angled a little bit, like the ones on Thwomp Ruins, Toad Harbor, and N64 Toad's Turnpike. Even lanes that have a giant ramp where you have no idea where the pins might be, such as Sky High Sunday for example. I'm not saying that you would be bowling on these tracks because Nintendo pulled that shit with battle mode in the original 8 Wii U game and that kind of sparked a little bit of controversy so I would like to see fresh original ideas for bowling lanes that could be incorporated into Mario Kart Bowling. Now tweaking the tracks so that it looks a lot different than the original track like adding in more off-road and obstacles then that's a different story. And it is not bowling without gutter balls. What about gutter balls? Just like your normal real life bowling, if you fall off the track, you will get sent back to the original starting point and that will count during your two rolls per frame. Now with Mario Kart Bowling, I was like, there should be something else with Mario Kart Bowling so that way you aren't doing the same mode multiple times because that can make the mode boring real quick. So I came up with some other modes with Mario Kart Bowling just to make the mode more fun. Casual mode, aiming for the highest score. Speed Bowl, like Mario Golf Super Rush's Speed Golf mode, where you aim for the lowest score in the quickest amount of time. But instead, with Mario Kart Bowling, you aim for the highest score in the quickest amount of time. And other mini games, such as hit only the 10 pin, pick up the given setup, and convert a split. And the best mode that I have is I would allow this to be online or in multiplayer mode. So you can enjoy this mode with your friends and family, either online or in person. It's just so that way you're not Mario Kart bowling alone, either casual or speed bowling. Though I couldn't figure out a way to incorporate mini games with online multiplayer. So if you do have a way, put it down in the comments and I would be sure to read them and heart them as well. And that's it! That is my concept for Mario Kart Bowling and the modes for it. Be sure to keep an eye out for more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys next time.